Hey, what up everybody? Mark here. We're in the new Tesla today. This is the Model Y. You can probably tell from that unrestricted view that the Model Y has versus the Model 3. But what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is getting your body panels and the body gaps fixed. I took mine to Eatonville, which is near Orlando, and what a mistake that was. They're going to have to do some bodywork repairs on this car. But what they did is the A-pillar on this vehicle was sticking up too high compared to uh, the fender. And Tesla appears to have used tools on it instead of realigning it with bolts and doing all that. So let's take a look at it here and we'll see exactly what they did. Overall, this car is more spacious than the Model 3 is. The wife loves it. She's happy. We were able to transfer full self-driving over. I'll have a video about that so you guys can see all about that. So let's take a look at this panels here. Ooh. So if you look at cars, you have an A-pillar and a B-pillar. And the back of the car back over there, a C pillar, I think they call it. This right here was sticking up so far on that side over here, but let's take a look over in here. Before we do that, you can see like on my wife's car right here, the A pillar, all this is very nice and flush. This is flush. And Tesla has a big problem with body lines, and that's just the way it is. But right now it looks really good. You can probably see how well that looks right there, but let me show you the damage that was done based off of this adjustment. So let's take a look at this one right over here. This A-pillar is pretty good. It's still up a little bit, not a big deal. It was whistling when we were driving down the interstate. The reveal up here compared to down here is tolerable for me. A lot of people complain about that being closer to like a, an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, and this one being more like three eighths, but not a big deal. But what I noticed when I got the car back is if you look in here, you can see these pry marks in here. There's some tool marks that are on that section right there and then that section, if I zoom it in, right there. But that's not what the problem is. You might be able to see it right here. When they use those tool marks on the car, look at the dent and deviation they put in the paint right there. Let me spin it around so you guys can see it right here. There it is right there. You can see that ripple in that paint and the bodywork right here. It's very subtle, but what they did is unfortunately when they were working through this vehicle, by pulling up on this, this is a sharp rigid line. It created a pop into here and popped it out. So I don't know if it's, uh, if it's as visible as it is in person, but you can see right there. There it is right there, and it's that spot right there. So I decided to bring in the garage. You can see it a little bit more here when those LED lights go over it. So there's that deviation in it now due to the fact that they did pop this out. Let me look at this a little bit better in here. That's all that. Tesla did offer to fix it for me. They're going to take care of it. But I got to drive all the way over to like Windermere. I think that's where they said it was. It's about a two-hour drive from where I'm at. Uh, but the bottom line is if they would just taken the bolts off and realigned everything like they should have, rather than the shortcut, we would have not been in this situation. But unfortunately, they say they're going to have to repaint it and sand it down and do all this. I asked them for just the touch-up paint that you would get, which I may get, and, and unfortunately have to live with this, uh, this dent in the car like that uh, because it's going to be a two-hour drive there, two-hour drive back, when this could have been avoided. Simple as that. So anyway, we got the new car. Uh, we're going to do some videos here. As you can see, we've got, what do we have on here for software? I don't even know anymore. We're on 11473, and the wipers are going crazy. I will do another video about the wipers on here. They are burning up the uh, the wipers on this car here because they just will not stop running. Clear as day out, as soon as I start driving, put on autopilot, they start wiping, wiping, wiping over and over. So other than that, hopefully they fix some bugs on this. They should have had these bugs out a long time ago. These cars are four and five years old with the software and the rain sensors. But other than that, Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing.